मेरी सारी की कलेक्शन है नेचुरल डाई किया हुआ है मालवरी सिल्क एरी सिल्क एंड मोगा सिल्क सारी और मेहनत सदर है मेरी कलेक्शन इसको भी है दुबारा भी है um so firstly thank you lakme for giving such a wonderful platform and extending um their hand towards helping the weavers um as a brand of course i've always tried uh to do something to bridge the gap and get uh, the beautiful textures and fabrics of assam out into the mainstream and with platforms like this is what makes it possible um the fabrics of assam are um so exquisite and luxurious like the mugas the aries the parts uh which is what primarily uh, my collection is made out of and but i have tried to blend in with the more contemporary youth and you know so as to say my show uh, stopper uh, galen um she's uh, been a huge influence in 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 to the youth in 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 today's world so you know especially the indian youth they she has a huge following be it in social media or you know to have these kind of people associate themselves with initiatives like this it's really uh helpful for the weavers uh for women empowerment uh which is what we are trying to do with this uh hashtag made in assam initiative and as paraya by pranami as a brand uh is in my own way just trying to uh, put forth the fashionable angle to it and lakme has just given the platform for that so yeah that's it thank you you okay. would like to talk about your uh, work in the brand sure um uh, initially uh, i didn't know pranami uh, but she gave me a very friendly call and and she asked me if i'd like to be associated with what she's trying to do here uh, quite frankly um for me it's a first as well walking in such a beautiful <laughs> creation which is made out of the hand weaves of the women of assam and um, i think whenever we kind of associate fashion with a cause it automatically becomes that much more special because um, you're not just trying to put out a beautiful piece or a beautiful garment out there you're also trying to tell a story through that garment and uh, that's what makes this initiative with all these three lovely women who've come out here to to showcase their work uh that much more special because uh, we're associating ourselves with a greater cause i believe you are giving women of assam um a reason to stay back and not move to cities and and uh, you know take up menial jobs uh but stay back with their roots with their children with their families and uh, go out there and and kind of preserve in case, preserve the so the the soul of assam uh, when it comes to the clothes so I am extremely proud to be associated with this lovely initiative and thank you so much Pranami for having me on board. Uh, thank you. I'm thank sure you for being part that of this. Yeah. I'm sure that this is just the beginning of of a lot of amazing things that are going to come uh in the future and a lot of youth most certainly are going to now start moving towards uh, trying to wear beautiful garments like these as opposed to just manufactured stuff. So I really urge all of you out there all the all the youth that even even uh, the older people to just come out there and and take a look at what our country has to offer we have beautiful things and give handloom a all. chance give handloom a chance yes that's yes. what i like thank you that was long <laughs> um firstly thank you to sara for uh, working for us and it's been a pleasure working with you and uh, so about agor we at agor uh, promote about uh, 150 women from uh, some 220 villages in assam and uh, the speciality of the agor weaves is the bodo weaves which is the extra warp and the extra weft which is exactly the story which we've told you know when when we think of hand loom we think of a very boring uh, kind of a silhouette or you know something that cannot be worn on a fun night so i have tried to push the boundaries and we've made something you know really fun out of a hand loom fabric thank you thank you sir would you like to say a few words thank you aditi uh, i actually first want to commend lakme on taking an initiative to promote uh, not just assam and um, this rich culture that we have but also the women um, 
when I first yeah. heard, um, when actually when I was asked to walk the ramp, it was a, uh, it was a no-brainer for me. I said <laughs> yes. Um, I can safely say that I've never seen handloom being done the way I'm wearing it today. So really, hats off to you, Aditi, for having envisioned a design like this. Um, and you're right, it does give a fun twist onto handloom, um, and it has some of my most favorite words in it. It's you know helping women. Um, I can't. I've been to Assam and I absolutely love it and I find it absolutely stunning. But have I been back to do anything to help? No. But the thought that I'm actually wearing something that was created over hours and hours of work for women who can't actually be here and speak for themselves, that for me is a true honor. Um, and I think thanks to people like Aditi and everyone else sitting over here, um, not only wearing it but also creating these garments, it allows people who are seeing them to look at handloom in another way and actually go out and buy them especially like she said for the youth because I would buy this skirt that I'm wearing right now and I would probably use it on many occasions um, so thank you um, everybody for coming thank you again to Lakme and thanks to everybody here for taking this initiative thank you so much uh, do you want to take some questions demand so far, we lost out on a lot of weavers, women weavers, who had to come to cities and find jobs as menial jobs like maids or, you know, house helps. And for some, and these are all artisans at the end of the day. These are, these are the ladies who created these beautiful garments. And 
we were losing out on that. So, of course, for a platform like this and for Lakme to specifically give that uh, limelight to Assam right now, it is, I'm hoping, is just a stepping stone to a long journey which will uh, not just create awareness but create that demand in the market and henceforth create a, a livelihood for these weavers because at the end of the day that is what is important you know we all have to look at the practical side of things as well so as long as we get that support from mainstream india or that link is there i, I don't see why this can't go forward in fact it is i see it just the gates have just opened and there's so much more to come out from the state and from vice versa, both ways. So, yeah, well definitely. jeans and t-shirt kind of girl. I don't really delve too much into it. That never goes out of style, which is also why I stick to that. Uh, but having said that, I'm, I'm quite blessed. At MTV, we get uh, a lot of stylists who help us out with, with what we're wearing. So most often, if you see me in hideous clothes, it's, it's not, not me. <laughs> it's not me. Probably the stylist. <laughs> Just putting it out there, guys. <laughs> but can you also tell us about your personal style statement? Because you just said it's not Just, Right. So the thing is, I'm, I'm five, I stand 5 feet 10 inches tall. So for me, I, as much as I can, I try and avoid wearing heels because uh, most often in my job, it's it's a hindrance because I most often then have to interview people like that. And they can't fit me in the frame. So I'm, I'm mostly wearing shoes that are very comfortable, mostly flat. Um, my personal style statement is that of wearing either shorts, really loose t-shirts. Um, jeans and t-shirts, that's that's what I am. I'm yeah. I'm a very I'm very big on pants. I don't know yeah, what that is, yeah. but I like casual. pants. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. yeah like casual. Casuals. Any particular that you want to Actually I, I'd like to say, I mean, add to what Sarah just said. I'm I love bomber jackets. They're yeah. absolutely fantastic. In fact, I just hosted Rodies and that was all that I was wearing throughout the show. Just bomber jackets. No, see? No, I don't know what I'm going to do, Sarah, but I just took it. Guys, if you're going to see her wearing that, you should just know I wouldn't first. <laughs> so yeah, just, just bomber jackets. Uh, they're really nice for the winters. And actually, mostly, we live in Bombay, we don't have any winter name here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delhi, come on. Delhi, come on. Delhi, come on. I just kind of enjoy wearing stuff that... It's actually mostly on the flights that I feel cool. That's it. Yeah. This conversation is not somewhere else. I know. Yeah, we're I just know. going so yeah, I, <laughs> I know. I know. Oh my god, somebody. <laughs> 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 what do you 
India TV? No. INS. Give me a moment. What is the material you said this was? Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay, path. All right. All right, firstly, I'd like to say that this outfit is absolutely stunning. No doubt it is really long and never ending. It's made from beautiful uh, fabric called path from Assam. And uh, apparently, an outfit like that, just to weave the fabric, it takes 45 days. So I'm wearing someone's 45 days worth of effort. Uh, it's beautiful. As you can see, the color is, is absolutely stunning. Uh, beautiful for Indian women. For all women, but I think Indian women more. Uh, and so yeah, this is this is what I'm wearing and I hope you guys liked it because I loved it. Quite frankly, uh, diplomatic answer do Such batao chili tea generally jab uh chalta hai modeling ke liye, uh, और आप मॉडल हो तो आपका लुक बहुत ही ब्लैंक होना चाहिए आइडियली थोड़ी बहुत स्माइल कर सकते हैं आप लेकिन मैं जो हूं जब मैं रैंप पे चलती हूं आई जस्ट हैव टू स्माइल फ्रॉम योर टू योर मैं ऐसे चलती हूं बिकॉज़ आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ हैप्पी थॉट्स ऑल द टाइम what is fashion for me? Fashion is actually a very, very big term. You can't really contain it into uh, any one thing. Fashion is very uh, cyclical, I feel. When she was my age, is now back in fashion. So for me, I think uh, fashion is cyclical. It is something if you can uh, adapt uh, it to your style and make it your own, that's what fashion is to me. Personal. Thank you.